Greetings and salutations. My name is Ekamek, and this is Let's Play Ty, the Tasmanian Tiger. I've always wanted to do a Let's Play, but for various reasons, including study and just being plain lazy, we never actually have gotten around to it. I have the time, I have the motivation, so I'm going to start with this game. There's a couple of reasons I picked it, partly because it's really easy, but also because, well, I have fond memories of it. As you can see, I have attempted it. I've had a practice run and an uh, attempt to start, which didn't really work out. Let's just get started on it. I don't get why it needs this. Probably a relic from being a PS2 game. And I'll just be quiet so you can listen to the cutscene. Afraid, Ty. I am Nandu Gili, the Bunyip Elder. Get I might? It's time you knew the truth. Years ago, a great battle was fought over the fate of five mystic talismans. Brave few who challenged Boss Cass were trapped in the dreaming. Mom? Dad? Word grows that Boss Cass is seeking out the talismans again. He must be stopped at all costs. It's up to you to find the talismans before he does. It's up to me to save my family. Oi, Ty! Are you okay? Murray? Oh, am I glad to see you? Oh, you're never gonna believe what just happened. 
I was playing in the forest when the ground suddenly... And that's when you showed up. Root! Sounds like you've got a fair deacon adventure ahead of you, mate. Not that I'm into that sort of thing. I'd much rather be at home watching the footy. But I tell you what. You do the adventuring, and I'll help you out where I can. Okay, for a start I've got to turn down the music because it's just blasting my ears Welcome out. to Rainbow Cliffs, mate! By the way, whenever you see one of these signs, I won't be far away. I've heard that if you press the action button, you can talk to me, whatever that means. Okay, now let's get down to brass tacks. If you're gonna be out adventuring, then you'll need another boomerang. And I know just the place to find one. <laughs> Head down to Bly Bly Station. I'll meet you there. So then. First of all, I've turned down the music. Second of all, I'm kind of surprised that Boss Cass actually lived through that explosion. And thirdly, let's get started. G'day, Julius. Now, if I just reroute these wires to... I said good day, mate. I is death. Oh, Probably. goodness graces me. Oh, I didn't see you there. I was just making some last minute adjustments. Well, 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 you must be Ty. Good day. So, you old coot. <laughs> What's this contraption do? <laughs> this contraption is the key to finding the talismans. Why is this so? It's quite simple, really. It uses an oscillatory microfeeder to scan for trace energy signals that match the unique power matrix of the talismans. Huh? Mm, like a big nose that sniffs them out. Oh. Ah. And thunder eggs are the key to powering the machine. Thunder eggs? Oh, they're as rare as hen's teeth, mate. Couldn't you just use batteries? <sighs> if only it was that easy. You see, this machine doesn't just find where the talismans are, it actually teleports them here. Struck me lucky. And that, my friends, requires a great deal of energy. So, uh, how is Ty here gonna find all these thunder eggs? Eh, hey, I was just wondering that myself. A reasonable question. I've created these portals to lead Ty to areas rich with them. Of course, they won't just be lying all over the place. Liar. Just our luck. A lot of them will have already been found. The trick will be convincing the locals to part with their prized possessions. But I'm afraid I can't help you with that. If you're as resourceful as they say, Ty, I'm sure you'll think of something. Righto, Ty. There's no point in mucking about. You've got to find a second boomerang. I'll see you in two up. So, yes, that is the game. Travel into each level, hunt down as many thunder eggs as you can find. Bring them back here. Get talisman. Beat game. And if only it were that simple indeed. This billabong has got the lot. Gum trees, wallabies, and even a koala. <laughs> There's plenty to do here, so let's get a move on. Uh, pardon me a second. Listen, mate, I solved your problem. I found you a second boomerang. That's great. Where is it? See that tree over there? Yeah. Well, it's not there. 
Right. Well, where is it? It's on top of Frill Neck Peak. Oh, great. Oh, don't worry. You'll just have to jump, run, rang, and bite your way there while avoiding Boss Cass's henchmen. Look, mate, life wasn't meant to be easy. I don't need a video game to tell me that. And they said getting thunder eggs would be a challenge. Bonza! I got one! Yeah, yeah, yeah. One down, 71 to go. <laughs> Come on, let's get a move on. <laughs> I reckon those dunnies are a complete waste of space. <laughs> Only last week I used one, walked two blocks, was clobbered by a frill, and then woke up back on the dunny. Which was the best place to be, given the surprise I got. Julius reckons it's got something to do with the space-time conundrum. But if you ask me, I think it's a load of bulldust. So, you're saying that if I have an accident, I'll end up back at one of these? Something like that. Yes. They're using toilets as checkpoints. Make that of that what you will. I don't think I really need to explain to could smash crates and click shinies. It's pretty basic stuff that just about every platformer has. Ruth! Oh, you've got a fair set of choppers on you. I reckon you could put them to good use by pressing the bite button. <laughs> Get it? It's choppers. Bite button. <laughs> Never mind, Ty. Move on. Have a go at those crates. Speaking to a bloke down the local watering hole, and he reckons you can use your rangs to take care of enemies and smash things. Shoo ripper! He said something now, wait a minute, he said something about pressing the throw button to use them. Now this, this is something interesting. You pick up a magnet, it automatically draws it nearby levels towards you. That doesn't sound too impressive, but if you're down to the last couple of opals in a level, it'll actually draw them towards you no matter where they are, and that is actually extremely useful. You won't get the ones in boxes, but if you aren't sure where it's left it, where there's stuff you haven't collected, it's useful for giving you a hint. Oh no, not more cages. Truth! What happened here? Boss Cass did this. He's caged all your bilby mates and hidden them across the land. Oh, yeah? Well, big mistake. No one messes with my mates. Now, there's a thunder egg in each area if you free them. No worries. Unless you're Boss Cass. I suppose you I should be questioning why they aren't giving me the thunder egg in the first place and assuming that I'd save them anyway, but I'll just leave it down to a video game flexibility. You have to bite them, you can't hit them with the ring, so sometimes just because you can see it doesn't mean it's as good as got one. You youngers, have it easy these days. If you want to get a better look at your surroundings, just wiggle your camera stick. And you can adjust the camera distance by pressing the camera distance button. In my day, we had to get off our backsides if we wanted to see the world. And apparently, question mark, question mark, question mark means the mouse wheel. I suppose you might be wondering, how well can Ty swim? The answer is not very well at all. So keep out of the water. Well, I'm not going to be getting that right. 
right this way. Oh yeah. I know there is I don't some... know if it's true, but I heard about this bloke who found three Will you stop opals, interrupting then took him to mind. Julius's opal machine. Anyway, something weird happened, and he ended up with a thunder egg. <laughs> Righto. I swear, every time I try to point out something less than known, he just jumps in and point with some really obvious advice. Ah, no. If you look carefully, yeah, you'll see I just broke it. Invisible crates. I'm not going to go for 100% let's play because of those horrible things. I'll grab them when I see them, but don't expect me to spend any excessive time going after them. So the call out, Kui, that's from the Bilbies. That's another way you can figure out where they're hiding. 